GOJHL Western Conference Finals Game 5 between the London Nationals and the Leamington Flyers. This series tied at two games this piece. Connor Hughes going to take on Tyler Wall yet again in this series. Leamington fans, they've got the rally towels out. They're hoping for their team to take a 3-2 series lead. Nationals going to get the first goal of the game, though. 544 into the first. Scott Goodman in on the wing, out front to Kevin Madden. He gets the puck in the net before the net comes off the pegs. The referees say it counts, and the Nationals lead one to nothing. Tough spot here for the referees. Cal Ruddick's going to rim this puck around the end boards. Ends up hitting the referee in the jaw. He's going to have to go to the bench and get some work done. He did have to leave for a brief period of time, but did return later on. Leamington going to convert on the power play here. Liam Hogan at 18-28 from Scott Emerson and Derek Elliott. The Nationals only penalty of the game, but the Flyers convert on it, and it's 1-1 one one through 1. In the second now, Mitchell Amante left out front. He gets that one top corner at 13-24. The second, Derek Elliott and Liam Hogan in on the goal, so the Flyers are up 2-1. to one. A few minutes later, Amante going to get a breakaway. He gets that one in on net. Connor Hughes makes the glove save and it's still 2-1. to one. Late in the third period, Nationals are going to pull the goalie. They'll call a timeout, try and get a play set up to tie things up before the end of regulation. Off the draw, Cal Ruddick reaching in, gets the puck out front to Ray DiLoretto, and yes, DiLoretto does celebrate on this one as this one tied up at 2 with under a minute to go, and this one is off to overtime. Tough spot here. Tyler Wall can't glove the puck down. Ray DiLoretto on the doorstep. He's going to get the overtime winner. Gets the game tying goal and the game winning goal for a 3-2 Nationals win. They'll take a 3-2 series lead and head home for Saturday night. You know, we, we, I thought we played a great game. Um, I mean, maybe the shots uh, uh, were in their favor, but I thought offensive zone time, I, I thought we uh, we did a tremendous job of uh, putting pressure on them, and, uh, and I think the pressure at the end just uh, kind of won, won it out for us. Uh, definitely. Um, the first goal, I celebrated probably for the first time ever, and it was uh, interesting to say the least. And then definitely in overtime, it was really nice to get the win with all the boys celebrating in the corner. You can let them play. I have no problem with that. You get down in the last minute, you're letting things go, but... It's a, it's a written, uh, referees know, and those guys are veterans. Anytime there's a penalty that could cause a scoring chance, you call that. And they didn't call, and it cost us a game. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's exactly what happened. Now, you know, give them credit. They played well. I thought it was a good game. I thought we played well. But that call should have been made, and it wasn't. 